everyone, it's Dr. Andrew Wolf with Health Ed Solutions, and today's lesson is an introduction to acid base, and it's part of a series on interpreting ABGs. Don't forget to visit us online at healthedsolutions.com for more free content. Now let's get started. So you'll find many videos online that teach ABGs using mnemonics and other tricks that help you remember how to tell whether an ABG reflects a respiratory acidosis or a metabolic alkalosis. Those of you who know my videos know that I'll take a different approach. I believe that if you really want to understand ABGs and how to interpret them, you have to understand the underlying concepts, the underlying physiology. And if you do that, you don't need any tricks. So in this video and the rest of this series, I will explain some of the key underlying concepts and then talk about how they are applied to make a diagnosis. Okay, so the first thing that you need to know about acid base and interpreting acid bases in the ABGs is that acidity is me measured on a scale that corresponds to the inverse of hydrogen ion concentration. So a zero means that there are 10 to the 14th power of hydrogen ions in it, concentrated in the solution, whereas a pH of 14 would just mean that there is 10 to the first power. And that's measured in moles per liter. And you don't need to necessarily know that, but you do need to know that the lower the pH, the more hydrogen ions there are, and the more acidic the solution will be. And the higher the pH, the more basic a solution is, and the lower the hydrogen ion level will be. Now, the neutral value for pH is actually right in the middle of 7.0. However, the body is slightly basic. So the body actually um, has, in the serum, has a pH that ranges from about 7.35 to around 7.45. So it's important to note that that neutral, a neutral value of a pH of 7.0 is actually considered slightly acidic within the body because the body is, the serum is slightly basic, running a pH between 7.35 and 7.4. An acid is something that donates hydrogen ions and therefore makes the solution more acidic. And a base actually accepts hydrogen ions and so an acid adds hydrogen ions, a base actually accepts hydrogen ions, so it decreases the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution, so a base actually increases the pH of a solution. So the most common acid in the body is actually a gas, CO2, which acts in the body like a volatile acid, and it does that because it, in, when dissolved in solution, it quickly becomes carbonic acid. Other acids in the body include lactic acid, a whole class of acids called keto acids, and then there's really one major important base in the body, and that's the bicarbonate ion. So in terms of maintaining the balance between acid and base and maintaining it in that narrow window between 7.35 and 7.45 for pH, the body, the main organs involved are the lungs and the kidneys. And the main molecules involved are CO2, which acts as a volatile acid, and bicarbonate. Now, it's important to recognize there's a very important formula that is involved in sort of all acid-base balance in the body. And that's knowing that CO2 dissolved in water becomes carbonic acid, and carbonic acid breaks down into hydrogen ions and bicarbonate ions. So the lungs regulate acid base in the body by controlling the amount of CO2 that is dissolved in the blood. So by in increasing or decreasing ventilation or exhalation of CO2, the body can, um, the lungs can maintain pH by controlling this amount of this volatile acid, which will in turn control the amount of carbonic acid in the body. The kidneys maintain 
pH by excreting excess hydrogen ions or by conserving bicarbonate ions. So in an ABG, when you're looking at it acid base, you're going to want to look at the pH level, which will tell you whether the pH is normal between 7.45, whether it's acidic, which is less than 7.35, or basic, which is greater than 7.45. Then you also want to look at the CO2, or the partial arterial pressure of CO2, with normal values of between 35 and 45 millimeters of mercury. And if you have higher than 45, you're going to be relatively acidic. If you have less than 35, you're going to be relatively basic. And then you're going to want to look at the bicarbonate level, which again is a basic substrate. And bicarbonate has a normal value between 22 and 26 milliequivalents per liter. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Say we have a line here that represents our pH, and we have normal pH values of between 7.35 and 7.45. Anything greater than this is going to be alkalotic. Anything less than 7.35 is going to be acidic. And then we're going to have the respiratory values. Anytime a CO2 is greater than 45 millimeters of mercury, it's going to be acidic. Anytime a CO2 is less than 35 millimeters of mercury, it's going to be alkalotic. So this tells us CO2 is going to tell us whether there is a respiratory acidosis or a respiratory alkalosis. And then in terms of metabolic, we are going to look at the HCO3. So it's acidic if the HCO3 or the bicarbonate is less than 22, and it's going to be basic if the bicarbonate is greater than 26. Okay, so that covers the basics of what we need to know to start looking at how to interpret ABGs in terms of acid-base balance in the body. In the next video in the series on ABG interpretations, we'll talk about respiratory acidosis and alkalosis and how changes in ventilation and lung function can impact those uh, disorders. So that's it for our lesson today. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to please like and subscribe below. Thank you.